I'm coming in a sec. Can I just come? Okay. But we can get this. Start yeah. Sounds yeah. like you gave Coach the game ball. How, can you talk us through that, paint that picture, how that developed, whose idea it was, and, and how it came came about? Yeah, it was uh, Sherrod, Sherrod's idea. I mean, he just wanted to have the captains present him with something, you know, of his earnings of his first career win as a head coach of University of Oregon, and we all behind him, and hopefully we, we get many more wins. Royce, the way the score went and the way you were running, did you give you some flashbacks to kind of your first two years here, the, the way kind of this offense was going and with you in the leading? Yeah, definitely. It was the first steps of just going out there and trying to put as many points on the board as we possibly can. And that's to be our mentality uh, week in and week out. On the left, Tyson, back. Royce, when, when Willie came and visited you in December uh, to kind of make his final pitch to you, Part of his vision, did, did he give you like individual specifics of how he wanted to use you in his offense and is today kind of an example of what you would assume what, what you assumed it would be? Uh, not specifics at that point in time, but he just wanted me to know that he'd be behind me 100 percent and just wanted wanted to make all my dreams come true. I mean, just be behind me and whatever I wanted to do and get everything I want accomplished. What are your dreams? What are my dreams? Yeah. That's personal, man. That's personal. <laughs> yeah. Royce, uh, Tony, and Kanai both played really well tonight, uh, aside from yourself also. Um, what does it mean to see them play like that? And does it take any pressure off you knowing that if you, if you need a break or you need a moment, those guys are going to back you up really well? Uh, it definitely does. And I, I feel like it takes pressure off Coach P as well, uh, knowing that he has a deep backfield. And if any one of us get tired or any one of us have any uh, problems out there, uh, you have more than capable uh, other versatile running backs behind me. Can I, you're one of those versatile running backs behind Royce. What, what kind of message were you trying to send out there tonight? Uh, just wanted us to dominate as a group. Um, we always talk about uh, competing amongst each other. And so every time I see Royce do good, I want to do good. And then Tony wants to do good. So because we're so competitive, it pushes us to be the best that we can be. Um, and so everyone wins in that situation, and we understand that. So we just, we just go with the ball. We're standing back there with Kristen. This is for Royce, uh, again, in the back. Um, Royce, what kind of opening statement do you think this was, offense, defense, for, for Taggart and for this program moving forward? Uh, it was good. I mean, it was a, a good starting point. Uh, we could be better on both sides of the ball. We can clean up a lot of areas, and that's just work for next week, and we'll enjoy this win. But uh, we know we, could, we are capable of being a lot, much, a lot better. Royce, you guys looked like you were having fun out there. Was mm. were you having a good time? And is that kind of a product of Willie Taggart, or is was that just something that the team was doing? The enthusiasm for the new season. Yeah, that's that's all, uh, Coach Taggart. He wants us to have fun. He wants us to enjoy playing football, not be uptight, go out there loose, but for four quarters, no matter what the score is. And I feel like that's the most important part. Back left, Sky. This one's for Can I? Can I just watching Royce from the sideline when you weren't in? He was out running. What were what was going through your head as you watched him today compared to to last season or seasons prior? Uh, you know, we're just we're just looking at the fronts. We're looking at the defensive fronts, their schemes. Um, you know, because when he comes to the sideline, we're trying to help him. You know, um, find those holes, find where those creases are. So we're always just trying to help each other out um, and also keep learning the game. And that's what we're doing. You know, we get to see the defense. We get to see fronts. We get to see um, schemes. And it doesn't just stop in practice. It goes into the game as well. Thank you, Rick. Royce, I was uh, wanting to have you comment on the physicality of the offensive line. It looked like they were blowing up some pretty good holes for you guys. Definitely. Uh, that started in the, the offseason. Uh, and I'm glad they, they put that product out on the field to show everybody uh, all the improvements they've made. They've made many sh strides uh, in getting better, and they've gotten me better as well, just bringing that physical nature to the field. Can I, I was going to ask kind of the same question. You had the longest run of the day, but the best average of the day. What make of the offensive line up front? Uh, they've worked extremely hard this offseason. I think, you know, they were – not satisfied with their production last year and they wanted to make a statement and so I saw those guys push each other not only you know on the field but but in the film room as well um, to be the best they can and everybody's on the same mindset um, not just an O-line but a team as well so everyone's trying to just stack their chips. Front right AJ. Well can I kind of just answer this but you averaged over 15 yards 
per carry today. What was going on out there that opened up for you today? Uh, just playing loose, uh, just with the staff, you know, just they want you to make plays and they're going to put their best playmakers out there. So I think just knowing that I could freely play um, and just, you know, not have to worry about mistakes uh, really, really benefited me. Front left back. Bryce, whose idea was it for the team to swag surf, and what was your, your reaction for that? I don't know. I think that's just uh, something that Coach Tiger brought with him and the excitement and bringing it to the fans as well. But uh, I really enjoy it, the swag surf. So, I mean, hopefully uh, all the whole Oregon fans, you know, get behind us and, you know, we start swag surfing every kickoff. Mm -hmm. That was back here. We it? That's it? Thanks, tonight. Thanks, Royce. Appreciate it. Nice job today.